Elliot, um, nice event. I don't know what you thought of the run. Give me your thoughts. Um, well, I didn't win, did I? So um, not too pleased with it. But I think considering preparation and stuff, which has gone well, no, no excuses there. But I think considering, yeah, I, I'll take it. I mean, I, I came third in a, in a relatively good field at the top end. So yeah, I mean, and this stadium is, oh, it's so incredible. Honestly, it's like you're running on clouds. It's like really hard to grasp, like the pace you're at. So I thoroughly enjoy running here. I mean, it's London, it's the Queen Elizabeth Stadium and it's absolutely incredible, so. What was more important to you today, the time or the win? Oh, the win, the win every time. I would have liked to have come here to, to win it. And again, I say it every time, but we are aging close to me. It's just, it's a long process and these things don't work overnight. So I've just got to be patient and keep, keep chipping away because I'm telling you I'm going to get there. I mean, you heard it, I'm going to get there. It's just a matter of when and it's not going to be easy, but I just need to keep persevering. Uh, run free, that's, that's your moniker, right? Yeah. Talk to me about um, what that means, where that come from, and why, uh, why's the hashtag on everything? Um, run free is just because, for me, if I'm not running fast and relaxed, I'm not running at all. So the moment I tense up like I did in the last 50 meters, you saw like everything went out the back window. So um, I, I need to run free. So my motto my, my is run free run comfortable and run like you love it so and that, that works for me now i didn't talk to you on purpose earlier in the year after that debacle at the world indoor championships have you put that behind you um, and you know talk to me about how you were feeling and you know the, the process of putting yourself back together when something like that happens yeah to be honest there wasn't really anything to come back from or to put that together i mean i watched the race back afterwards and i didn't compare so for me like it's not yeah it's just that's just racing and a bit of bargy bargy. If you go back to the golden age of Cohen and Ovet, God, you got, you got razor sharp elbows there. So, I mean, a little knock in indoors. It's indoors. I'm not one to complain. That's just running. That's my sport. I'd have done the same thing. It was more the way that it was, you was in than you was out and it was shaky all about. It was... Yeah, yeah. We was doing a bit of the okie kokie, wasn't we? Um, but yeah, no, I mean, that's, um, that's just the way things go sometimes. And again, it's a learning curve because it, tell you what, it upset me, but it made me hungry even more. And um, going on to the back of the comedies after, straight after that, and then hitting outdoors, oh man, it's been a hard season because I feel like I haven't stopped. I normally, I never normally do indoors, so normally I just have an outdoor season, so I can just go ham on that, but nah, this one's been like three seasons in one, so that's why it's been slow and it's been a slow ongoing process. I mean, I can't rush it because if I do, I'm going to blow up, so. Obviously, the first time we caught up with you was in Holland, 2016 European Championships, Berlin coming up. What do you expect from yourself? Oh, say no more, man. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Keeping that one under your hat, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, no worries. Listen, we'll catch up with you before. You... What's the next race? Um, anniversary Games here. Yeah. Again, it's a, it's, a, it's a rabbit. We're going to be chasing a rabbit. Pace mate. It's not going to reflect what Euro is going to be like, but it's a chance to run quick. And on a track like this, why not? Good luck. Well done today. Cheers, man. Pleasure.